Chapter 48 Retreat for Battle Once outside, the subdurouters found my body lying on the ground. Lila picked up the remains of my necklace. Daddy, she called out. I think these will look great around my arms. Siegfried smiled at her. I think so too, my little archangel. He said, Siegfried got half the remains of my necklace and Lila got the other half. The other subdurouters stared at my body. We made her dead, yelled Orenlod, and he let out a deep evil laugh. I didn't even know that she would be out here so soon. Said Bossum, think about it, said Edna Guy, it's a good thing we got here first. We just weakened her true love in the first place. I just love it how the cabalistics die, growled Yoroi, looks like she wasn't as brave as we thought she was, said Alerba, Mary Borealis should have chosen wisely. Just as they were ready to celebrate their victory, Lila felt something by my mouth. Wow, she said, there's a nice warm breeze by her mouth. But then, she stopped. Wait a minute, said Kenos. We are standing by a dead cabalistic. Why would there be a warm breeze by her mouth? Asked Elsa. Unless she's breathing, but if she's breathing then that means. The girl is still alive, yelled Alerba. Kill her, yelled Edna Guy. Before they could kill me, however, they were all startled by the sound of a loud train whistle. Lola returned. She brought with her Mary Borealis, along with Baxter, Jeanette, Grace, Kathy, Polly, Fisher, Buck, and the other cabalistics. They were all riding the cabalistic express. The train came to a stop when they saw me lying on the ground. Oh, no, yelled Baxter. Jeanette and her cubs began to cry, but Angela and Polly smelled me. She's still alive, but she's out cold, said Angela. We need to get her out of here, said Polly. My special healing herbal tea can heal any injury, internal or external, said Jeanette. She and her kids raced out to me for a rescue. The cubs put me on top of their mom. I was heavy, but they managed. Siegfried saw the train pull out of the city and head back toward Enchantamalia. Enraged, he let out a deep and aggressive angry growl. Jeanette and her children put me right onto a table in one of the train cars and then we raced off. The subterouters, however, refused to give up. They transformed into creature forms and raced right after the train. During the run, Siegfried attempted to use his dark magic on Mary Borealis and her apprentices. But, Mary Borealis stood up on top of one of the train cars and reflected off of her staff, and it turned poor Lila into a pony. Please get them for me, Daddy. Lila said with a loud whinny, please. Daddy, shut up, shouted the subterouder emperor. Siegfried became enraged, annoyed, and abandoned Lila. Oh, boy, Lila thought to herself, does daddy seem mad at me? During the rail run, Mary Borealis also sliced Bossum's face inside out, killing him. Die, she yelled, 